Ah, hello everybody, Tate Fox here. Wait, you dick! Get rid of that! <laughs> you said none of that. Anyway, you can't kill me. I didn't do anything. All right, we are playing. Okay, hold on. Let me get a good viewpoint out of this. Da da da! Feed the beast. Ultimate pack. Did you get rid of that? Yeah, I got rid of the diamond. Okay. I like the name. Marcus is awesome. Love Shack of Awesome. Needs some adjustments. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? Maybe I should turn PvP on next time. Okay, I'm changing that one. Nice play, buddy. But this is going to be... The Better House by Tate Fox. Um, let's get this straight. Neither of us made these homes. We just stole them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, weird village spawn. Very strange village spawn. So say it's spawned down below. And we are up here. It, 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 it like almost called to us. It was like saying, Tate, Marcus, live here. Among the villagers. But we were like, kill the villagers, take everything. Anyway, where'd you go? I'm trying to build a way down that's safe. Okay. That's a legit. I'm gonna harvest this tree. Where it's at reminds me of Skyblock. Getting wood. I haven't gotten wood yet. Not since you would have put the mod in. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah. Did you ever take a look at the mod achievements? They really help out for tech level. Yeah, if you go into uh, escape, achievements, and then click on the bottom where it says Minecraft, you go into industrial craft achievements, and it teaches you, basically, the basics. The huh? Why are you breaking the wood? So I can get up. I took that tree down there. Ew. What? You took damage. So my first objective is I want to build a way across to that little bridgey thingy over there. I mean, that looks pretty pretty damn swanky, if I do say so myself. I, I never use the term swanky, but apparently today I am. I don't like how janky our uh, living conditions are here. Yeah, we, we need to upgrade them. We need to get some villages populated. <laughs> now that we killed them all. We need to bring them in from other places. Using the... Uh, does the door glitch still work, do you know? I don't think so. It should, because they run to the nearest house, so... Well, then you can do the door glitch. There's a lot of things. I need to teach you about so much. Because you've seen how much there is. And it, like, blew you away. I know it did me when I first saw it. I was like, what do I do first? How do I do things first? So that Xbox One. Oh, don't get me started. Microsoft, I've been your fan for t over ten years. Sad to say, you lost me. I think I might go to a Wii, Marcus. Nah. If anything, I'd go to PlayStation. But the Wii's got Super Smash Bros. coming out. It's got Mega Man. I guess I technically have a Wii, so I don't care. Okay, then I'm getting a Wii, just for you. <laughs> I get it.
I, I get it. Do you get the fun I made? You shouldn't laugh at your own jokes. That's sad. It's not sad. You know what's sad? Microsoft's poor excuse for a console. The, the console itself isn't sad. Their defense for it is sad. I watched a guy do an interview with Major Nelson. You know, I, I, I kind of had respect for the guy, but... Now it just looks like he's a dick. Who, Major Nelson? Yeah. Why, what's he saying? Dodging questions and taking the mic from the guy and just doing things you shouldn't do when being interviewed. There we go. Now we got a safe bridge to and from work. From work. Yep. I want 20 woods. Oh yes. We decided we wanted to spawn with stone stuff. I just have a stone pick. I don't know what you mean by stone stuff. I spawned with stone everything. Stone armor? Yeah. I can't move in it, but stone. Okay, make some sticks. Sticks are good. Sticks are awesome. You know what's funny? You know what? You're right. No stone anything. I'm gonna make my own. My own sort of stone. You're dumb. What? That pun. Or... Rhyme? Or whatever that was. My own sort of stone. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. But. No, that right there? No. But. Don't coulda. Shoulda woulda. You're gonna make me hate the player. Don't hate the player. Hate the player for hating. It's become a night out. Marcus, it's become a night. Lay down in your bed. Okay. It wouldn't let me lay down in my bed, so I'm going to lay down in your bed. Uh-huh. What? Why am I on the ground? What are you doing to me? What did you do to me? Nothing. You'll see when you wake up. Why? What happened? Nothing. I'm, late. I'm sleeping. Oh my god, the gravel. Oh man, you've been graveled. Growled is graveled. We got a flint. Just letting you know. I have three flint. Flint coal? You want it? I don't want this crap. Yeah, I want flint coal. Wow. I can hear you furiously clicking your mouse. That wasn't my mouse, that was a button. Okay, I'm gonna put my extra flint in there. Now I've got gravel, so I've got the basics for what I need to live. Oh, we also decided pants were a necessity for me. No one ain't wanna see that. No one ain't wanna see me naked, so I wear pants. These pants are necessary for pants. No one got time for that. I got a phone call, but I ignored it, because that's a professional thing to do. Not necessarily, you could answer it. I could have answered it, but that would have been unprofessional. Okay. 
So now we got home base kind of established. We've got a way down and across safely. We need to start mining. We have carrots. Where do we get carrots? From our farm? Or potatoes. Those are potatoes, right? Yeah. I harvested a whole bunch of wheat. So now I have bread. For me. Okay, I'm gonna go get some cobble so I can head on to stone tools. You so, need wood tools to get stone tools. I have s s wood tools. So, yeah, the Xbox One, biggest atrocity to gamers. It's Microsoft, Microsoft believes that's the way it's all gonna go, that online DRM. You know what, to an extent, it is going that direction, but at the same time, it's not. Look what happened with SimCity. That's the thing, like, it works with download for songs, but that's because technically, even if the company says, you know, we're not gonna provide you online support for the song, you still own the fucking song. Yeah. You still have something that allows you to listen to it. I guess you never technically own it. But you can at least listen to it when you're off fucking line. So that whole defense, like everything else has done it. Yeah. They don't and, you and to be online to do it. I think people are forgetting the obvious. Let's, uh, let's, let's bring up two examples. And people might hate me for it, but Halo, Call of Duty. Heck, let's throw in Battlefield in there. Both those three games at launch crashed regular servers what the hell do you think they're gonna do to DRMs for God's sake SimCity crashed and they didn't have near enough players well they, they had a lot of players but they didn't have near as many as you know a big name game franchise like Call of Duty or friggin Halo has yeah. <laughs> it's gonna break it they're literally going to break the servers. Forever. Nah, not forever, but it's gonna crash a lot- it crash and burn a lot harder. Huh? I already called that PlayStation's gonna win the console war this- this generation. They pretty much already have. Looking online with what everyone feels, other than the random- the funny thing is, they can get away with a little bit more than their counterparts because of their counterpart, uh, the Microsoft's counterpart, because of what Microsoft is doing. Like PlayStation, oh, now you have to play for a PlayStation Premium. Nobody cares. Oh. Okay, cool. Well, that's the thing, like, the few people that complain about it are the people that still want it free, but it's like, hey, Xbox has already made them pay for it, and it's kind of nice that you guys didn't have to. At least you still have the right to play the game offline. Yeah. At least, at least the company's not saying, hey, we own you. We own you in everything that you love. That's the thing, like, everyone that's defended is essentially forgetting one thing. You shouldn't be proud that you can say, well, the console isn't that bad. You should be proud when you go, oh man, the console can do that. Yeah. Unfortunately, it brings, like, three things to the table that go, that's interesting. Like, it can be a cable box. That's interesting. It can play Blu-rays. That's cool. The PlayStation did that already. Yeah, it's like, it, I don't necessarily need to do cable. But you can go out and buy a Blu-ray player for $30. And that's the thing, like I've told people. Internet goes out. They stop providing internet to the Xbox One, even though Microsoft's like, well, it's a new system. It'd be stupid if we did that. Yeah, but you'll do it eventually. For, oh, you mean cutting the cutting the internet from the i not Xbox Live from the Xbox 360? And that's the thing is, are they going to do that? They pretty much dodge the question on that every time of just being like, 
not answer it, or if someone includes, like, will you do this to the Xbox One eventually, they won't answer it for the 360, and they'll simply say, why would you do that with the, the Xbox One since it's new? But that's not the question. The question is, would you do it in the future, and what about the 360 now? Exactly. I mean... Plus, if the internet does go out, because he kind of misworded it there, but if the internet does does go down, the Xbox One turns into a cable box. A very expensive cable box. It turns into a damn brick. That's one thing, but what I meant to say is, like, you know, eight years from now, when the Xbox One is replaced with the Xbox whatever... Xbox Two Oh. The heck is this? It's permanently down. Like right now, if they took the 360 just like the Xbox One offline, that sucks. But hey, you can still use it. I found rubber. You're rubber. It's got a kinky look to it. That's disgusting. Hey, I didn't choose to make rubber like that. Hey, why are we friends? Because you and I met. A long time ago. How do we meet, Tate? Car class! And then we became friends. No. Then we became acquaintances. And then I was invited to the LAN parties that can no longer exist the way they do for Halo 2. And after they. at, at Boys Club. Or Boys USA Club, or whatever the fuck it was called. And then we became friends. Yes, Boys Club. Halo 2. Remember the Hot Wings? Huh? Do you remember the Hot Wings? No, I don't. You don't remember the Super Hot Wings that they used at some imported pepper? No. Do you remember the, uh... The Zanzibar? No, not Zanzibar. Was it Zanzibar with the giant spinning wheel in Halo 2? Yes. Yeah. Remember the Zanzibar game where we had a hill that didn't move in the middle of the map and everyone got rocket launchers? That was unfair. That was a great match. Only one person won because no one paid attention and just kept blowing up each other. Yeah, let's bring up some old moments now that we know the future is bleak for gaming. Well, just like uh, Call of Duty said, the future is black. And by black, it means dead. <laughs> Future. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up. I forgot about that ad campaign. The future is black. That's... Sh should I feel, like, insulted? I don't know what to feel about this. I mean, I, I, I don't want to laugh about it or anything, because it's... I mean, it's just, you know, your wording, and it's very, I guess, weird. What are you doing down there? Oh, yeah. Look. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. I missed. Let me try that again. Run! It's okay. This isn't Daisy. Oh, speaking of Daisy, look at that game. Microsoft's excuse for online DRM is it'll allow producers to create bigger, open, awesome worlds. Look at DayZ. There's no always online DRM, as far as I know. It is. Huh? DayZ, it is. It is? Yeah. How do you know? Because you log into servers. Oh, yeah, true. Never mind. It's always online DRM. No, no, no. If you want to get an example, Tate, Skyrim. Like, it takes what, like, like, three, four hours to get all the way across what? the map from one invisible barrier to the other? For some reason, my, uh, timer came up. Alright, go to bed. I'm in bed. Still says you got one diamond sword. I don't have a fucking diamond sword. I got rid of it. Good. You're gonna quit. You're gonna quit smoking. 
I'm gonna quit being smoking. What was that, uh, when we were playing Death Run? Death Race? Gary's Mod? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, where'd you go? That little saying that it kept saying? No, that was inappropriate. It was. I turned that off. <laughs> I got annoyed of that really quickly. So did I, don't worry. <laughs> Like it, it was catchy at first, kinda. And then it was like, nope. Well, then it was like, okay, now, now it's kind of being like racist. Anyway, so how are all you fans of Tate doing? You should post in the comments about. I know. T talk, oh, please. I don't know what to think, what to do, because nobody comments. Every, everyone post comments about how, 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 how awesome I am. About how awesome Tate is. And not how stupid Marcus is, because everybody knows that already. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> Goofy, please. You know what? You should turn PvP on. We'll settle this right now with men. Well, video game men. You know I can't turn PvP on. Not without shutting the server down. Yeah, uh, well... We'll just take that as a win for me, then. Why isn't it a win for me? Because... You turned PvP off. I didn't make that decision. That means you basically bitched out. I didn't, though. Put on some swords. Put I on some... I need coal. Illuminati? Yeah, the Illuminati. <laughs> I found the Illuminati, Tate. Good. I'm joining them. Good. Good. Alright. They told me they wanted to spank my butt. You know, that sounds a lot like them. I said okay. We're gonna, we're gonna have a party. What kind of party? Party with bees. What is this? A house for bees? Copyright. How? Copyright. What? People mark his video. It's not copyright at all. I'm just kidding. Don't mark his video. He doesn't. He, he's too new. It wouldn't matter. But it would. How do you get down safely? I'm fucking awesome. Oh, I found out how to get down safely. I took damage! Oh no! End of the world! I found your cave that goes down. Found some clay. We'll need that. Chief, I need you. So, let's talk about that now. Chief, why you be wandering around the desert with your old armor? Oh, well, that's not what bothers me. I'm fine with him in his fucking armor. The thing that bothers me is there's five different types of invisibility in the Halo universe. Why in the fuck is he wearing a cloak? <laughs> is he afraid he doesn't get goddamn sand in the joints? You know what? He's been in a sandy world before, and he didn't give a shit about it. Why would he give a shit now? Is he trying to hide? Again, five different types of invisibility. Covenant, human, forerunner. Oh, no, no. It's the Spartan 3s had it built within their armor. Like the, uh, whatever it is in the books. I don't remember what armor type it was. There is Why is my brightness so low? One from Reach, which is the prototype version. So technically you can count that as one for the human. The Covenant had one. There is the Advanced Covenant or Human one that's never really explained from Halo 3 that existed. There is the Forerunner uh, form of invisibility, which is essentially, from what we saw in a book, like, it makes the world look like nothing's there, 
to anything, like to eyes or sensors or anything. It's just like it was never there. There is the invisibility uh, ability from Halo 1. Technically not a real thing, technically was, because it was still treated as a thing. So yeah, I don't think he was hiding from the giant metal space chicken. Yes, that's what that looked like. What in the world was that? Giant metal forerunner space chicken. It reminded me of a giant, yeah, chick. Aside from chicken, ooh. Well, it looked like a. Bird. The heck is this? I'm just calling it a chicken to make fun of it. Toadstool. So, I got toadstool. Because I'm so disappointed that I can't basic basically I can't play Halo Five because I, I I just I can't buy the Xbox One. I just I can't. It's a luxury item that is more of something that I would hate than enjoy. And the whole point behind buying a luxury item is because you want to enjoy it. Exactly. That's the point. People are... I I know people are going to buy it. They're going to get suckered into it. They're going to buy it. But they're going to start hating it. There's going to be a lot of complaining. A lot. And as your friends say, Who cares? Well, you know what? Who cares? I care. So does Marcus. So does hopefully 90% of the Microsoft fan base. You can't just blame it on the fans are upset because things have changed. Because it's not that things have changed. It's things have changed for the worst. Well, it's not so much they changed for the worst. It's they were forced to be changed. Things didn't have to change into the way they were. Online DRM doesn't really realistically have to be a thing. Um... I mean, yeah, it's going to provide some quicker download speeds, whoop de do It's not like it took a bat one. Again, luxury item. So anyone that bitches like, 360 just takes too long to load games. There's some games that load up instantly. That's more the developer's fault than anything. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm excited for, though. Well, it being online, you know, does better for, like, your storage. Um, no. The Xbox One forces you to save it on your hard drive. It's actually worse the way they want to do it. Well, not the online DRM part, but what the Xbox One is doing. If it was like a game where everything's on the server and you simply log in and nothing's on your hard drive, yeah, that'd be better. That's not what they're doing. I need some foodies. Foot foot. I got some footies. Yay. Then we have our whole uh sorry. Um anyway, like I was saying, no offense to anyone if you take offense to this I am sorry. But basically what I saw from the Halo 5 teaser trailer was a like mentally handicapped Master Chief getting ready to fight a giant forerunner space chicken that was hiding in a desert somewhere. For no reason. I'm so I'm so glad that's the direction Halo decided to go. I mean we look from, at We went from having like a crazy rain world that we got to explore with our military friends and find an ancient civilization had hidden, that we kind of knew about being called the Forerunner, had hidden an ancient evil called the Flood on, while fighting this species called the Covenant. That was Halo 1. Halo 2 was they came to our planet and we have to defend it. And then we found Delta Halo. And then we found another Halo, and we were like, damn, okay. And, we def and then we did stuff there, and we started fighting more of that ancient evil thing. Then we went into Halo 3 full-on war, went to a thing that created the Halos, defeated the ancient evil, as far as the games are concerned, and the books kind of change all of that to an extent. But nevertheless, in terms of the games, like, that's what we had. Going over into just the other two games, into the uh, other three games that have existed, to kind of give an example, again, Halo Wars, going to a planet that's been defeated, Discovering some more stuff and being in a war. Not too much new there. 
ODST, basically, you're fighting as an underpowered marine. Granted, you still feel kind of overpowered, but nevertheless, you're not a Spartan, you're a marine, and you're just fighting in a war. So it's kind of like a uh, Call of Duty Halo thing. <laughs> and then we had Halo Reach, which was, again, basically like a Call of Duty Halo thing. Not a lot of new discovery with stuff, but a lot of story in terms of, like, the Spartans. Yeah. Halo 4 comes around, and it's like, okay, let's see how 343 deals with the Halo franchise. They should do good. Well, they bring back discovery of some different stuff that was explored in the books and not in the games. Anyone that didn't take part in the games might have issues. Why? <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> anyone who didn't read the books might have issues, but other than that, I mean, it's it's all canon stuff that's been known, but just finally explored. And then the, uh, wait, some of this stuff here. And then the, uh, like, the war part of it, again, it comes into play. So, you get a lot of war and discovery with Halo. Halo 5, though, so far what we've seen is Master Chief walking in a desert that has shiny stuff in it, looking at a tag for Cortana, that was pretty heart touching because it kind of shows that Master Chief's becoming a little more human and like, emotional. I kind of like that, it's character development to an extent. Some people probably don't because they want him to be the silent hero, but Honestly, I'm tired of that shit. Yeah. Master Chief was not a silent hero, but he was a war machine. And him coming in terms with reality... And that's the thing, is that ...might be what he needs to fight the, you know, this enemy that's nothing but machine. And that's the thing, is I like seeing the development. I'm, I'm sleeping in the bed, by the way. Um, okay. Well, we are at our time limit, though. So, wrap it up. Wrap it up. for no reason, in a desert, watching a giant mechanical bird rise out of sand for some fucking reason. And although it looked kind of pretty and cool, it just brought up questions as to why, rather than ooh. Well, I trust 343. Three. I'm pretty sure they'll explain why. In a good way. My issue is they're connected to Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft true. basically becoming like EA. You know... Fuck the fans, this is what we wanted. Anyway, long story short, we hate Microsoft now. We hate Microsoft. any... I'm just, I'm so disappointed in them. I hate them. I, I, I hate them. Anyway. I'm gonna hate someone, or any, uh, entity, or person. Yeah. I'm gonna be switching to probably PC or PS4, but I'm gonna be getting... A Wii U or a 3DS, probably a 3DS so I can play with you and play Super Smash Bros. That's the thing, I have a PC. My PC is running slower because I probably have crap in it that I have to get cleared out, but whatever. Um, the thing is, and I want, PS4, I want to play Destiny, Titanfall, Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, there are games I want to play. But realistically, I don't know if I can defend, at least right now in this point in time in my life with like expenses, spending five hundred, six hundred dollars on a console when I could be spending it on a car or a house or a wedding ring. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, that's about all we have time for right now. So we'll see you guys next time where we continue on more Feed the Beast. Say goodnight. Fuck you. Good night. Good night.